questions, please. How much did, did their zone sort of affect what you were trying to do, and then did you get anything close to what you wanted to out of your guys offensively and trying to, to go against that? Well, I, I just said on the radio, we, we played bad and scored 86. That's not a bad deal when you play really bad and score 86. When we played bad, played bad, shot it bad, passed it bad. They had, you know, obviously they had something to do with it, but I mean, I don't know. I mean, we, we're supposed to be high level major college players. We ought to be able to make a shot. And if you're shooting 8% from, from three, eight, not, not 88% from three, you probably shouldn't shoot them. You know, you probably ought to, Probably ought to maybe try to get score another one. Lamont and West did hit a few, you know, toward well, the Lamont end. started out making them. Lamont's, Lamont's not in very good shape right now. You know, when you lay around, you know, with a sprained ankle, and I thought he got really winded. I thought he got really tired, and I didn't. He didn't. It's a bad time for him to have a couple day break. Jamal was talking about, you know, he obviously had the career high assist tonight, but he says, you know, he just kind of goes by the flow of the game and that, you know, it's not a conscious effort to come out passing over shooting and, or, or vice versa. Kind of expand on that a little bit. How does he get a sense of what, you know, the, the flow of the game is and, and, and how he makes those decisions to... Well, that's what good players do, Justin. I mean, that's that's what good players do. Um, everybody's been really trying to gap him, so that you know that they basically they're guarding him with two guys on penetration, and quite frankly, he hasn't shot the ball near as well. You know, so uh, if you're not shooting it as well and it doesn't doesn't feel as good coming off your hand, and somebody else is shooting it better, get him the ball. I mean, he, JC wants to win. You know, this this thing about I missed three, I got to prove I can make one. It's really crazy. And 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 I, and I said there. I mean, it, this is a great bunch of guys. I mean, they've been they've been really coachable. You know, for the most part, they've worked hard. Uh, they're great off the floor. They're they're, you know, do a good job in the classroom. They they kind of do everything right. And then today, they were hard to coach today. Now, really hard to coach. And uh, I don't I don't know if it's the break coming up. I don't know if they underestimated Fordham. I don't know what it is, but they were not very good to coach today. So, you know, my message to them, let's, can we get back to being what we were? You know, and, 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 and the whole battle is do what you do. We, we, we tell them all the time, you know, you're going to shoot the ball, know when, know where, and know why. And I didn't think we did that very well today. It, uh, I thought you guys moved the ball real well today, though. I mean, I thought we kept it on one side of the floor too much, Bob. Really? Yeah. I mean, the scoring was well distributed. Uh, you had a lot of, lot of assists, and it just, it just seemed like it just seemed like there was a good flow to the to the moving of the ball. Well, when they stand two guys in front of the rim, you're probably not going to shoot many layups. So, uh, you know, it's you don't get. You don't get assists on layups, and you, you get them, you know, on penetrating pitch and, and reversing the ball and passing the ball. So I think that's why we had more assists, because it was a game where we had to pass it and make some shots. But, man, it's hard. I mean, when Beetle don't make shots, uh, you know, Chase, I'd put Chase in to shoot it, and he wouldn't shoot it. And and finally, he, he, he decided to shoot one, made a big three for us. Thank God Dax, Dax shot it really well. Dax hit a huge three down there when they kind of cut it to whatever it was, seven or whatever it was. Hit a huge three. Right, everyone out with it. Yeah, I think so. We had two fouls in those seconds. <laughs> There's a lot I could say, but I'm not allowed. You always said you go into Christmas break happier with the win. <clears throat> Not real pleased right now, but uh, good Christmas at the Huggins house or, or no? I'll get over it. Um, yeah, I've got my four sisters, two brothers, their siblings, my wife's brother and his siblings and their siblings. And yeah. 
Yeah, there'd be, I don't know, 35 or 40 people over there. You have to tell your kids any, I mean, just precautions about the break and stay off their feet or I mean, stay in. They need to get in and shoot the ball and run, but I don't know how many of them can do that. You know, it's it's hard to get in uh, to, like, your high school gym over Christmas. I mean, who's going to show up to let you in? But I think, you know, I mean, guys like J.C. will get in the gym. He'll get in the gym. But no, not really. I just worry about our conditioning. It takes a lot of energy to play the way we play. Now from non-conference to conference, is it a second season? Is it? Uh... Yeah, I think it is, Bob. There's so much familiarity. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. You know, why is why are conference games so hard? It's because they know what we're going to do, and we know what they're going to do. You know, we know we know their tendencies, and they know our tendencies. You know, the, the, for them, this this was this was if there's a. a, a Something positive about the deal. Rodney Crawford's a heck of a coach. Rodney played for me, and he's Jeff's right hand guy, and and uh, so he he knows everything we do. I mean, I haven't changed things. I mean, why would I change? And so he knows all that stuff. So they kind of sat on it, you know, a little bit. We threw it one chase hit, and I think the other two we ran that. We didn't run that when he was there, so we snuck that one in on him. Anything else? You know, Carter and Dax were talking about, you know, trying to explain, you know, the grind of league play to, to, to guys. But, you know, they said it's almost something you have to experience for yourself, too. That's important. Well, there's a lot of things. And, and, and I mean, we have a terrible disadvantage. We have a terrible disadvantage being in the Eastern time zone. Um, we have a terrible disadvantage in the amount of miles we have to travel. Uh, so you have to you have to take care of yourself. You 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 can't. You gotta you gotta take great care of yourself. You gotta stay in great shape. You know you gotta get your rest when you're supposed to get your rest. And and at the same time, you still gotta get in the gym and you still gotta practice. You know so. Um, I, I, you know, I think we've we've done a pretty good job. Certainly, the university's done everything they can do to alleviate um, the the burden that that we have. Uh, we're playing two games on the road early. You know, I think to a large degree because we're not in school, and it knocks out you know two of those long trips. So. I th yeah, I think we I think we have to. Uh, but I, I don't understand why we couldn't play Saturday, Monday. You know, if they played Saturday, Monday, we played Saturday, Monday, it'd be everything would be the same. But I guess there's reasons. I don't know. I don't know if you got a view of it or not. But again, just before Dak set those two fouls, he made a play down the other end on a fast break and took a lot of the guy's hand until he was going out, knocked it loose. I mean, it was. It, I don't want to say it was the best defensive play he's made, but it, it was a hell of a play to, to, to get all ball and get the ball out of the guy's hands and turn it around going the other way. Well, to say his hands are quicker than their eyes sometimes wouldn't be wrong. I mean, he gets his hands on an enormous amount of balls. And, and uh, you know, if you, if you don't see the whole play, sometimes you, uh, you don't see what happened, obviously. So it's hard. I mean, it's a it's probably the hardest game in the world to officiate. You didn't get foul on that one. That was just the other. No, game. I know yeah. not that one. He didn't, but there was there's I don't know. I need to shut up. Anything else? Thanks, y'all.